Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, Christmas cards for Christmas in July. Yay! I don't mind saying it now because I know a lot of people are doing Christmas in July, so it's not quite so bad. Um, I did start off doing 31 Christmas cards in 31 days for July, for, uh, well, for Christmas in July. Um, and they are all craft buddy cards, craft buddy crystal art. Uh, as I did for June, I did 30 cards in 30 days and that was great fun. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> uh, the person who I was con contacting regarding the discount code that I had in June has left the company. And the email address, sadly, that I gave me, the person never replied to me. So I may try, try doing something similar again another time. So I've not got my discount code, but if you are wanting um, discount off Craft Buddy, I've got quite a few friends that uh, have got codes. So if you want to just drop me a line or leave me a message or whatever, I can send you the code across so you can get some discount. Fingers crossed, we all like discount. Um, but I thought I'd show you, I've done 14 cards. Uh, sadly, it is the 20th, 22nd, it's 22nd of July today. Blimey, July is flying through. So I'm not sure I'll get 31 done, but at least I've made a good start on my Christmas card. So I'm ahead of the game. Um, I do send quite a lot out, so <laughs> I thought I'd better get started on them. These are all ones that I've had, uh, well, apart from Peter Rabbit, here's a new one, that I've had from last year. Um, so I thought, yeah, I better get those done before I start on my new one. Um, so I'm going to show you these cards and then we're just going to put away the crystals um, as I've done on previous uh, cards, uh, unbox well, kitting downs, shall we say, unboxing. I've already unboxed them, Liz. My brain's not working properly. So we'll start on number one. These were the set of eight that I got. Um, I've cut out the little sheet that you got with it uh, just to show where the crystals are and everything, just to save a little bit of time. But that's Donkey and Little uh, Border Collie there. And I absolutely love that one. There's just such a look of love and respect and friendship between that donkey and that dog. It's gorgeous. And the crystals have come out lovely. And I love the way that they've just put the red crystals on the donkey just to give it that little bit more interest. Ties in a little bit more with like the pinks in the background for the sunset in the background there. Um, but yeah, that is gorgeous. And I say Craft Buddy do do a really good job of making everything look 3D by having more than one or two colours in the pictures. But yeah, so that's that one. And then we had our little puss cats uh, sat on a beautiful purse box with lots of depth of colour on this one with these reds. And then just the blanks where there's like a dark red where there's no drills just really makes that stand out as though it is the edging on the purse box. And the cute little kitty's faces there. And then it's just the uh, holly leaves that have just got that little bit of extra bling on them. And then this is my least favourite, but, you know, there is a place for uh, all cards. I mean, this is a bit more religious and this has the church candles and everything. Um, I'm too much cutesy to be sending people candles, to be fair. But I think the pine cones came out superbly. The candles have got the bling on them. And then just some of the holly has as well. So the way that they've mixed in the crystals with the resin gems has just come out really well on that one. So I do like it. It is pretty. Uh, and then my robins. I love robins. We do, as I say, have robins in the garden. I think I've told you before. So he's sat on a lovely lamp with the church in the background. Now I love this one because this is like a churchy scene with a cute little robin on it. This one just needed something cute for me. I need cute. <laughs> but as I say there's a place for every card and I'm sure you've got friends you can send all the different cards to. I know when I look through cards I think oh well, so and so would like that one and so and so would like that one. Uh, and yet yeah, we've just got a few, again, gems on these. Not as many um, as there was in the everyday cards because these just tend to be more the holly leaves and things uh, that have got the gems on them. But yeah, still uh, worth putting away, worth keeping. And then this one, look. Whoa. That's the female Robin. Don't all come at me. <laughs> She's got a mouth open. <laughs> ah, that's the me Robin never stops talking. And that's the male, male saying, oh, what's she saying now? Actually, he's probably saying pardon because, you know, you, you do tend to find that um, 
yeah you do have to repeat yourself a lot when you've got another half <laughs> well i do anyway and this one was all crystal all of the gems on this are crystals and they've come out really really pretty and i love this brown that they've done the uh, robin hay up i've got packages moving around the room again um and yeah just this different green here just highlights something slightly different just to give a bit more interest okay and then this is my absolute favorite Should move that one this is my highland goo and isn't that absolutely gorgeous just with its little sprinkling of snow on top of its head look and it's carrying the holly uh, berries and the holly uh, twig there in its mouth but isn't that just superb just got a little glance of an eye there as it's uh, oh and there as well as its fringe is coming across its face with the wind blowing but i really love that one i don't think this one's going anywhere i think that one's going to go in a frame and go up for christmas <laughs> my house won't have any wall space this christmas i can tell you <laughs> and then the others in the eight pack was the uh, poinsettias again flowers candles yeah i mean very christmasy oh this got stuck to me bag so i've got a sticky label on that bag that's not good um it needs cute on it for me but i do appreciate it i do think it's it's pretty and quite stunning um and i do know some people that will appreciate this one so it certainly won't go to waste but uh, yeah and it's got ab's on this one in the middles of the poinsettias so yeah and then good old santa and he's brought a little package look for robin oh love the robin yeah and we were just crystals down here again on the holly leaves but it works it's just really pretty really nice and again the different colors on the post box just to give you the different shading and everything and even santa's coat look the white on the coat has just got all the gradients going across all the, to just give you that depth and the shading because it's quite a dark picture that one because you know the robin sat there at night it should be at home in bed at this time of night with the moon out there <laughs> okay and then this one was from the 15 set uh, if you remember when i did my cards last month um there was a set of five of this size five small size and five of the larger size and each of the sets had one christmas card in it and i ended up with three of these because i got quite a few so i've done three christmas santas so that's how i've done 14 cards <laughs> i thought while i was doing one i might as well do them all so i did all three at once and this one just had the one crystal in it which is the large red one from running through and i keep thinking that this is a fold in the uh, card i keep thinking oh no i've creased the card but actually i think probably if you looked at the bigger scene there's probably a star there or a moon and that's like the rays coming off the moon or the star but it does just look like it's a crease in the card <laughs> every time i pick it up i think oh i've creased my card and then i think no i can't have creased them all in the same place <laughs> And then from the brand new collection this year, little Peter Rabbit with the snow bunny. Look at that. I absolutely love it. The colours on the scarf are just so different. You know, you're so used to reds and greens and things and golds for Christmas. But having these like sagey and pea greens just gives it that little bit of different interest and peter is holding some holly leaves there and those marquees those green marquees really do make those look like holly leaves with the facets on them you know even though you've not got like the scalloped edge that you have on holly leaves the spiky edges they do look like holly leaves i think that's really clever really well thought out so yeah oh and i've still got a little bit of peter's ear to do there because sadly with this one I did run out of that colour drill. Uh, I have got that colour drill. I have got it in my spares. But yeah, so that's the first time ever in sort of what, since 2017, 2018 that I've been doing craft buddy cards that I've ever run out of drills on them. So maybe the machine was just having a bad day and couldn't count properly. Join the club. <laughs> and then these are the Disney ones that I got last year as well. Um, and I love this Winnie the Pooh. 
And here you all look, even here you all's got nearly a smile, which is amazing. Let me take them out of the bag so you can see them properly. Can't get the full effect, can you? But all the different drills, all the different colours on like the lights going round that they've got there and coming round here and a little piglet down here. And then all the lettering, the festive fun is all just in crystals. And I think it's clever because rather than covering it, the whole thing in crystals, what they've done is put like a stitch edge as though it has, has actually been hand stitched. You've got like your running stitch along the edges of the letters. And then they've just put a line of gems rather than covering it all. And it just makes it look more like bunting, more like it is a handmade bunting. So yeah, I was really pleased with that one as well. It is really sweet. I like the Winnie the Pooh. Again, whether these will actually go out with Christmas cards, I don't know. I do like to keep them all. And then we've got Mickey and Minnie. And, oh, actually, what I've done with all of these, um, where it came out as just a 5200B5200 uh, white, I've actually used my mixed bag that I've got with it. It's 50-50 of AB Crystals 5200s and just plain 5200s and mixed them in so that there is that little bit of sparkle if you can see in the white bits on the edges of the dresses and the gloves and the hats, I've just put some ABs in with it and it just gives it a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more interest. But uh, yeah, I think that's quite good actually because Mickey's got hair too big presents and she's just got him for one. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Right, so let's grab my box and get some of these crystals pulled away. Right, I'll do those ones last. So I'll put all these out the way. Let me know below which one you think is your favourite. And I did show some of these uh, before before I started doing them. That's not going to wear, please. I'll have to put some at that side and some at that side because they're all just going to slip right off that desk. Right, so here is my box of crystals. And this is my bag that has this card in it okay and as I said the only crystals that we had are there so that's the three that are left over from this one so I need that there I'll put those no I don't need those there now get rid of this bag okay so that's just my leaflet telling me how to diamond paint that can go in recycling and these have got oh that one actually i've got the key code on here so i won't use that one that one will go in my little log book so i'll put that out of the way because i'd bought two of them that were actually in packets um i did have in mind to send these to two children and for the life of me i can't remember who they were <laughs> now but again they will go out to somebody this christmas i'm sure um, so yeah, I have got the key code there. We only need to keep one though. So we'll keep that one. And we'll lose that one. I'm trying to, as I go along, get rid of bits and pieces because I just have so much now. Um, and I must try and keep things to a minimum. Otherwise this craft room just ain't big enough. And it's going to expand into the next door room and that won't do. Because if I lose my room next door, my bedroom next door, then I won't be able to have anybody to stay over. Uh, maybe my friends won't mind. <laughs> maybe they don't like coming over and sleeping with lots of uh, diamond painting stuff and everything that I've got. Right, so we'll put him in that little bag. I'll have to find a bag that actually fits the envelope as well for whatever reason. That one doesn't fit an envelope and I must have bought the wrong size. They were the right size. From my card making days, DL cards, deep and long. Right, tray, tray, tray. I'm not organised today at all. <laughs> so I am starting on my drill storage. Um, it is coming along nicely for just my plain crystals. Um, I'm using my DMC book that I've got and uh, putting the dot the drills next to it so that i've got the colors so i will show you that in another video um once i've got that a little bit more complete i do need to get another one of these boxes i've been trying putting them in other boxes but really i do like these boxes best so i'm just gonna go and stick with these boxes what can i say <laughs> 
right okay so anything um on these little key codes these little cards that you get or the bit you know the sheet or whatever you get with this and these are 21 colors as well 21 colors in that tiny little painting but uh, he's very effective. I do like him. He's a very happy Santa and I do like the uh, reindeer. Oh, I meant to put a little uh, red gem on the nose. I'll have to go back and do that. Ah, uh, it's because there wasn't any actually in the pack. I'll use it from one of the other sets, I think. Um, yeah, so anything with a letter or a double O or an O at the beginning um, on these is actually a special. And this is Y118. So we're looking the Ys because the Y for Craft Buddy is a large gem. And we'll see if we've got a 118. And yes, we have. We've got a lot of 118. So that's good. We can just add these to the bag. And this is a good bag. So I'm going to keep this one. Oops. If I get the uh, horrible little bags that are really like tissue paper thin, that you can't open properly then i'm afraid i don't reuse those i'll just get rid of them because i can't be doing with fighting with plastic bags trouble is at the minute they'd probably win <laughs> so i shall put that key code in the back there and oops oh get in come on so that was good luck i've got three put it down all together yay <laughs> down i've ever done right so let's have a look at uh, donkey and little sheep dog we'll put this back in the little packet so they're good if you buy the single ones because you do get the packets uh, and what i do is actually keep the packets you see they do come in handy for any that i've actually done um, I don't throw away like the package in this size and I keep it so that when I've got, say, this had a pack of eight and I didn't have the plastic bag for it, then I can just use it for these. Yay! <laughs> and I believe, I say, this one only had one. Yep. So this one's got a 004 there. So we know that we've got 004 and the rest are all um, just the resin drills got the one special and it does take a long time to kit these down I have to say checking the numbers off and going through them when I did them for my other cards oh my goodness me I thought I should have done them one at a time rather than leaving them all till the end and doing them it didn't work out brilliantly right so we want double O four and I know we've got a lot of those because I've done so many Christmas cards and so many cards that I've got read in and this is a nice bag as well. Yay! Throw the rubbish away. So yeah, I'm recycling a few more now because I'm getting down. I'm getting down to where I've not got all the horrible little, you know, those where you try and open them and they come in the kits and oh dear, you just can never open the bags. I can't be doing with it. Right, we'll save those till last. So we'll do Santa next. And how many did Santa have? So Santa has 28 and 30 there. So they're at the end. They're always at the end, the specials with these. And as I say, if it's got a zero at the beginning, then that will just be a standard crystal, um, but not a resin gem. Right, these open. Okay, that's those two. And mind you, what I tend to do is take my two boxes of rounds down uh, and sit in front of the telly and put the drills away. Keeps will be absolutely fascinated as to what I'm doing. So what are you doing with all them? So, well, I'm keeping them. Look, I've put this away now without actually looking at the numbers, as if I'm ever going to remember what they are. So we're looking for 28, which I do believe we have, because again, that's quite a popular craftly green colour. You do tend to find when you're using different manufacturers um, that they, you know, they have their own like codes and what they use and their colours that they use. So on L, L is number 28. And again, this is quite a good bag. I think these were possibly the craft buddy bags because quite often they give you about 20 bags in their kits and you do tend to find that they are the better quality ones. In fact, once I got some that were really, really good. I was really impressed. That's not the right colour. That's 34. 
So did I say that was 30? Yes, and we've not got a 30. 27, 28, 29, 34. Oh, so we've got a new one. Okay. So where's my labels? Let me grab my little rounds from uh, Add More Zest. You can buy these all pre-printed. You can use standard ones. But I like the pretty ones with the diamonds on. If I'm going to have them, I might as well have some pretty ones. So this one is, oops, Scotty Dog pen as well. If it's not diamond painting, it's Scotty Dogs in this house. <laughs> And it's 030. And thank you, Ditsy Diamond Painter, for telling me all about a, a Scotty Dog painting that I'd not seen before. And I have had to order, so I have a new enabler. Uh, go and check her out, uh, Ditsy Diamond Painting. She's great at fun, a lovely girl, Rachel. Um, and she does some really good unboxings and kissing ups and things. So go and check her out. She's it's, uh, a really good, fun uh, video to watch. Is uh, a definite one on my watch list that's ever growing. Okay, so that's those two put away. So I can now put that back in the back there. And then this one had a few because it's got the ooh, larger red. I'm going to put something, get a bit of paper or something to put over there. I know what I'll do. I'll put that over it. Look, oops, it says not even covering up. I must have had a label on it and I've taken the label off and it stayed sticky. I can't do with sticky bits. <laughs> so let's have a look at these. Oh, this was a big bag. Goodness me. But I do like keeping them clean. I do like keeping them in bags. I'm going to have to move it. I've got a, a wire attached to uh, my phone and I keep catching it. And you probably every now and again keep getting like a... Uh, earthquake effect <laughs> okay goodness me so we've got a 307 a b so that one's got an a b at the end and then we've got one two three four five gems goodness me right so nearly all of these are specials and this one will be an easier one to put away in my uh, resin gems so one two three We've got that one and then four, five. Yeah, all I've got to put away, look, is the red ones when I get round to doing that one. So, so I'll take those out of that bag and just leave them loose now. It makes them a little bit uh, flatter. So they don't go rolling around. And put this one away. You'll have to just excuse me. I've just had to put my little fan on because it's so warm in here. This weather is not good to me. It's not kind at all. Right, so that's the AB. I'll put that in my ABs at the end. No, I won't. I'll put it in my ABs while I'm I've got it out. Otherwise, I won't remember the number. So G, H, I and F. And then J. Oh, this is coming one of the little crystal like branded bags. So I've got to keep the branded one like anything that's pretty <laughs> right so f is 004 which we've already used once so oops that's five that's pink just to prove i don't know my colors <laughs> just push that back a bit i'm gradually gradually going out of screen aren't i just slipping out of screen there oh dear and then that'd be boring wouldn't it <laughs> Oh, and that's a really, really thin bag that's going to have to go. Can't be doing with thin, flappy bits. Right. And then we've got number 161. You have to excuse me. My eyesight is not brilliant today. 161. So 152 and then we go up to 189 so we've got another new one okay so now where am i looking oh do you know i'm going barmy i'm looking at the number of drills it's not 161 let's say it's number 28 oh 
oh dear in fact it's not that it's number 26 oh my goodness somebody go and throw a big bucket of cold water over me or something oh what am I like? So it's not a new number. I was just thinking, I'm sure this colour looks very similar to the other ones I've got. Eh, hey dear. Oh, if I had a brain, I would have Hey, heck. Oh, and they're a little bit staticky in this bag. They're not wanting to come out. They're jumping around. Right, so that's 26. And I think we want number... Look, I'm looking at it thinking it's 322, 27 and 28 as well. So I'll get both of those out at the same time. Oh, hecky thump. Right, so have you started your Christmas card yet? Or is it just me? But I just, it's one of those things that last year, these are all left over. Because last year I did cards from the year before and I got to a point where I just practically run out of steam and I was doing so many different Christmas craft projects because there was just some wonderful stuff came out last year, really pretty stuff. Uh, my house was absolutely covered. I did do a video showing all the decorations that I'd put out, all the uh, crystal art decorations. Um, and I'm hoping that this year there's going to be lots more new things as well. Um, I've seen a couple of new things come out. Uh, there's some like money boxes. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work though. Because the money box has got a slot and the money goes in front. So on top of the diamonds, it's like a square box with a perspex front. And the picture is at the back. And when you drop the money in, it goes down the front. So unless that's well and truly sealed, you're going to be knocking your drills off all the time. So, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Um, I am hoping to get one eventually. But at the moment, I'm just trying to lay off the Christmas stuff until a lot of the new stuff comes out. And then I'll maybe get it all at once. But uh, yeah, I love Christmas. I'm a real big kid when it comes to Christmas. I'm not bothered about New Year, but I do love Christmas. Right, so we're back on one oh yeah, why one oh seven? Oh, these are a smaller one, so we've got one one eight, one oh six, but we've not got a one oh seven. Okay, so we do need these. So it's a Y one oh seven. We need a new bag. Right, so what I need to do though is because I've not got one in this side, I wonder if I've got any in this side. This is all my ones, all my gems that I haven't got any numbers or letters on them. And I keep them in, um, I put the colour and I have large rounds at the front. I have uh, marquees, teardrops and then just the miscellaneous like the stars and all the different shapes. So I want red, which I think are at the front. Oh no, they're behind the pink. So no, they they are at the front. Liz, what are you doing? The brain is just not working today. So I want the large rounds out. Okay, and I might not need this bag now. Oh, heck, anyway, I've put the letter on it. And now I need to see if any of these. No, they're more of a pinky red. Match up with any of these. Mm. They're slightly bigger than those, so I need sort of bigger than that one, but ah now then is it that size? It is with the cry. So I've managed to use one of my bags from that side to put in this side. So that's another one that now has a letter on it to be catalogued. Yes. See it does work eventually, it's just gonna take me years to do, I think. But anyway, it gives me another chance to have a little chat, doesn't it? So we'll put these in here. So I could have just put that label on there. Actually, will that label come off? Yes, it will. So I can just put that label on there. Excellent. Put the little baggie back in there. And we'll put these in here. Okay. Wow. That's good. 
and I'm keeping that bag because I love it. It's uh, got crystal art on it. <sighs> Not quite as good as the ones with the diamonds on, but still good. And then we'll put that in Y's. So we want Y107. 106, 107. I'm going to have to move these um, eventually because they're getting a little bit full. Look, when they all start popping up, it means they've got too many diamonds in the base and they're not flattening down properly because there's not enough space at the back. So I really do need to get these sorted out. Um, I suppose I could put some of them across this side, but at the moment I'll leave it for now and just keep squishing them in. Right, so that's that one done. So I'll put that one back in there and that will go in my little log book. Let's do Highland Glow, which I absolutely love. Oh, that's definitely my favourite. Oh, where's the drills gone for this one? Okay, uh, right. I definitely haven't put them away, so I wonder if they're still on my trolley downstairs. I'll probably find a rogue bag of drills somewhere and think, aha, that's what happened to them. So I'll put him at the bottom over here for now and see if we come across a bag that's got uh, two lots in. <laughs> Which wouldn't be unheard of with me. Right, so if you ever get stuck as to where your gems belong, um, if you have a look on the back of the card, each of the cards have, this is Christmas uh, bob set actually it says number three and if you look on each packet actually has the letter on and when I'm doing these I keep the fronts of the packets and put them in the little bags so I know for kitting down but also if any of the packets get muddled up I know that I've got the um, code number for the card on the back of it as well so sensing my madness <laughs> Right, so let's have a look. This one, oh, this one again only has one. And this is Y107, which is that the one that we've just done? Was it one? No, it was 106 we did, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was 107. So that's the one we've just done. Yay! So, so oh no, it's got, oh no, this is the one that was all, oh, this is all crystals. Okay. All right. So we have... Um, see if I can put these in order. L M K L M J K L M I J H G. I think I more or less kept these in order. F E D C B A. But as soon as I've got these out, I might as well put those away. So they look smaller. M 107. No, they are the same size, but just for whatever reason in this smaller bag they look smaller. Ah, <sighs> they are very strange. Okay, so let's pop these away in here. And it's another little rounded bag. Let's keep that. Let's see, let's see if I can get the labels off. Get that goo gong going. <laughs> goo gong going. Hmm, sounds like a song. Okay, so. A is just the standard crystal, which is a 001, which we're getting a very big bag of these now. So I've kept the craft buddy one separate. Um, I have got my jar with all my just plain crystals in, but for whatever reason, I decided to keep these ones separate. Okay, and that's another good bag, so I'm keeping that one. Oh, we didn't do the A, B, did we? Hang on, let me backtrack. <laughs> Better put that AB away while I remember which one it belongs to, otherwise I won't have the number. So let me get my AB draw, which is my art dot round AB draw, and it is AB307, and I can see AB307 looking at me there. So we've got a lot left over. They were very generous with the ABs. Get these put away. Oh, this just looks so pretty. I think I must have used Goo Gone on the tops of these lids because as you can see my labels are all starting to curl up and pop up which they don't normally do but uh, these uh, some of them came with this storage and I think I've sort of muddled them up with ones I already had as well because I don't mess about I do I like to have a play with different things so I'll put that back away right and we'll get back onto these okay so B 
look at the right one, Liz. Oh dear. I'm really having to watch myself at the minute. Right, B is number two. So B, oh. Oh, we haven't got a number two. One, two, three, and four. So we've got, oh, right, okay. More new ones. So we've got. Oops, <laughs> I keep turning my pen off instead of turning it on. Zero, zero, two. And zero, zero, three. Okay. Right. And then number four. So it's because these are popular reds. So eventually these will go um, into my other drill storage as DMC codes. But at the moment, I'm just leaving them like this as they are so that at least I can get them put away because that other job of doing the whole, all of the crystals is going to take a long time because, as you know, there are four, well, roughly 447 DMC codes. Um, if you've done your full gem box with all of them in, there are a lot. So, yeah, I'm going to have to move these crystals into a separate bit because they're just getting too full. All right, and then C is number three. And then D is number four that we've already used. Okay. Right. Okay, just... All right. Sorry about that. Uh, just getting a phone call from my mum. My nephew who lives in Japan has uh, just arrived on UK soil uh, and has come for a visit with his lovely new wife and uh, we've not met her yet so I'm really excited to actually meet her she's very very pretty so it will be uh, lovely to finally meet her um, what with the pandemic and everything that went on um, you know they didn't get to come across and uh, we didn't get to meet her she has been across once but unfortunately it was quite a short visit so they my uh, brother and his family live down in London um, so obviously you know they want to visit their mum and dad and everything and uh, we didn't get to see them but yay it'd be great to see him right it's the only time I ever get uh, cuddles from nice good looking young men these days when I go see my nephews <laughs> I can't just go up to random young men in the street and they'd get arrested <laughs> Okay, so, right, where are we? Ooh, 10, 11, 13, 14. So we've got another new number, number 12. Oh, okay. So, right. There's a lot of new ones on this one. But it's good because it means you get them all catalogued and eventually you end up with a bag to put them all in, which I do like. I like just to be able to be organised. And just when you're kitting down particularly, be able to just put that one gem away. Oh, there's few gems, as in this case. Rather than uh, having to write out the bags. But it's quite exciting getting new ones, new colours. I say, sure there will be the 447, hopefully. Uh, so that's number 12. Now we want number 26, which I do believe we have. Because these are all the green colours. The green party. Okay. There's very little difference in the crystals, I always find. I know some of the drills, you have to really look at them to get at the difference. But I think with the shine on them, when you look at the different colours, sometimes you think, well, that looks identical to that. And it's so easy to put them all together. Um, but then sometimes when they get on a picture, they do look very different colours. And then you think, oh, I wish I'd uh, used the right colours. Anyway, maybe that's just me. Right, so the next one is 26, 27. So this 26 and 27 colour, just looking at them, you know, with your, well, with your eyes. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what else I'd look at them with. <laughs> um, yeah, just by sight, shall we say, uh, without you know, using a daylight bulb or anything. Those two colours just really look the same to me. And then number 28. Yeah, these are definitely Craft Buddy's favourite colours for doing holly leaves. <laughs> Which is why I'm getting quite a good collection of them. Okay. 
it's the largest special gems I need to be getting really so that I can get rid of some of these from this side. So 28 and then number 30. Okay, which I think was the new bag that we've just done today, which is the very dark green. Love this one, real good deep sparkle, a very Christmassy green. I wish it was Christmas. No, I don't wish it was Christmas. I'm not wishing my life away. Um, but yeah, I wish it was more Christmassy weather. I like autumn best, but I do like Christmassy weather. I love it to snow at Christmas. Here's hoping. I think we've only ever had one white Christmas that I can remember. We've had sort of like bits of snow just over a bit, but yeah, not really enough to call it a white Christmas. Um, other than one Christmas we spent in the Lake District and then it really did snow. Wow. Right, so that's another new number, number 70. And that Christmas we went uh, on a boat cruise, would you believe, on uh, Windermere out onto the lake and we had hot mince pies and hot toddies. Oh, oh it was absolutely gorgeous. Mulled wine and hot toddies. Wow. It was wonderful getting all snuggled up and going out on the cold lake and just seeing the wildlife and all the snow and all the mountains around the lake. And, oh, it was great. That was a really good time and the snow was really thick. That was proper snow. <laughs> it was a case of, oh, Hubby was saying to me at the time, oh, I don't know whether we'll get there with this snow. We might not be able to get through. I said, we will. Don't care if we get snowed in when we get there, but we'll definitely go in. <laughs> All right, so K is number 82. So do we have a number 82? 79, 82, we do. Yeah, I don't mind getting snowed in places, particularly somewhere as beautiful as the Lake District. Where Beatrix Bottle came from and uh, where Peter Rabbit was uh, born, as it were. Uh, yeah, oh, and that's just your standard black, so I'll keep that out of the way, that'll just go in my spare blacks. So that's the one with the most drills on it, so that's that one done. So let's have a look at this one. Okay, this one uh, has 25, 26 and 118. Okay. So we've got... 25 and 26 and 118. Oops, oh, that's not working very well. <laughs> okay, put that in there, put the card back in here. Oops, so this again is just the holly leaves that we've done on that one and the berries. So 118. This is the larger ones that I already had. Yeah, these are the larger ones as opposed to the new bag that we've just made today. And again, this one's got one of the Craft Buddy Crystal Art bags. We like the bags. And then these two are G and H, which is 25 and 26. Oh, they're all slipping underneath. I wonder if I can move some of them to the back here. I think I'm going to have to because it's uh, just running out of space. Right, let me just bring this forward a second so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll put the Y's. That's A, B's. Um, oh, they were different flowers there. Miscellaneous. Right. If the wires will all go, or if they'll be a bit too thick, let's see. They might all go in. These are all the large rounds, and I've got a YX as well. I'll put the YX back in there. Okay, so yeah, that'll go in there. That's better. That's better. Just oops, gives me a bit more breathing space. So that's an X, and then a YX. Yes. little bit better okay yeah that just gives them a bit more space to move around so 
see otherwise you end up with the bag slipping underneath and then you lose one and you think well i'm sure i had that color and then like three months later you'll suddenly lift something up and think oh it's a bag under there <laughs> so where was i 25 and 26 that's better 25 and 26 let's get these put away Okay, so I hope everybody's doing well. I've not asked you if you're okay, have I? Just got so excited about Christmas. <laughs> Let's put in there, that's one of those awful bags that one can go. And 26, okay. This is taking an awful lot longer than I was expecting. Mind you, I did get that little interruption. Okay, put those in there. And that's another one of those horrible paper thin bags. All right, so that's that one done. Yep, 25, 26, 118. And this has got the smaller gems on it again. So this one is. We have, uh, oh, 3, 4, 15, 16, 17, and 78. So quite a few on this one. So the candles were all there. Uh, Sparkly. Right. These. I don't think there was any on the cats, so we might be alright with the cats. So we have J I J I G F G E D C B A and then the little bit larger one there. And I'll get rid of that back. Well, I wonder what I did. Oh, I know why I haven't got any for the Highland Co. Because the Highland Co. didn't have any specials in him. And I've already done him. We did have specials in him. Strange. Okay, maybe not. Right, so we are looking at... Oh, look, quite a few of these little crystal bags. Oh, no, it's only one. Oh, getting excited over nothing. So we're back on number 78. So the Ys are now at this side. I'll have to remember I've moved them. Otherwise, I'll be thinking I've lost them. And 78 is the bag that we've just created. Okay. So that's that one. Let me put these little crystal bags out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to lose them. I'll nearly end up with them. Hi, JK. I'll nearly end up with a full alphabet of these. Look. And then. <laughs> okay, let me just get uh, rid of these bits of paper as well. I'll bundle up these because these are all getting a bit uh, full. Right, so. So we've done that one. And they can go back. In there, in the right number. Do, 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 do. That's that one. Okay, so what's the next one? We want number three and number four. Let's move those bags out of there as well and put them on the other side. That's that. That's better. It's sort of like an ever-growing project, this. It's like a monster. It slowly grows bigger and bigger. So number three. So these were the num new numbers that we've put in. So they're using different shades of the reds now. Okay. So they may have used them before. I didn't use to catalogue them all like this and keep them in the craft buddy numbers and that's why i've got so many at this side and i've got so many of my other crystals uh, because i wasn't keeping them in any order but now because i've got them separated out then i can keep them in a better order uh, oh yeah it is the right color it just didn't quite look right from this bag to that bag but uh, yeah it is the same color okay and now we want number 15 so we're back on our goldy colours again. But it's a lot easier to get them out now and find them. But I've moved things across a bit. So I think this is always going to be a work in progress. It's one of those things that, like painting the fourth road bridge, you're never going to get to the end of it. Or when you do, you've got to start again. 
because there'll be something new comes out and you'll need to add something new to it. And then 16 and 17. Okay, so 17, so we want 16. And I have got quite a few projects in mind. I've still got my Scotty dog to do. I've not given up on that. Um, I just need some cooler days, really. It's too hot to be... Uh, is that a rubbish bag as well? No, that one's okay. Uh, it's too hot to be putting the, the crystal art glue, the magic glue on things at the minute. It's just... Well, it's just too hot. What can I say? <laughs> we are not geared up for this heat. Alright, so that's that one. Okay. So 17, 18. So that's another one done. Yay! We're getting there. We're getting there. And then plus cats. And yeah, plus cats have some girls in as well. I could have sworn there was one that didn't have any specials in, but I must have dreamt it. <laughs> Okay, so what have we got on this one? We have oh four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. So there's only three on this one as well. And they're all just the standard ones. So that's it. That's it. I'll leave those in the packet because there's not many to sort through. Okay. So we want uh, number four, which is your red one, your lovely red. Okay, which is the fullest bag. Must be the one they use the most. That's number four. Come on, get out. And then 25 and 26. greens. Okay. Goes in there. Eight to twenty six. one done. I do enjoy doing the cards. So it sort of like keeps my hand in with my card making but uh, it's also diamond painting as well which is always good. Right so I'll get rid of these bits and then let's see what did Mickey have. So these are actually on the back of the packets. So this one only had number 26 and one oh, so we want one green and then one large round which doesn't seem to be here Oops. let's tip them out then oh there it is look right, yeah so the a b is uh, just my bag that i've used myself so yeah, look, I've got the white there. I didn't even open it. That's the B5200. I didn't even open that one because I used my mix bag so that we end up with A, Bs in. And I can get rid of this packet and just keep the key code. So the card goes into the recycling. And I dare say at some point I'll probably get another one of these because if I send it out to somebody, I will want to get another one to keep. I have a collection of cards, not just uh, cards to actually go out. I have a full collection. <laughs> so we want 107 again, which is at this side. Why 107? Again, yeah, that's the bag that we've just made. Very popular size and colour. That's one of those horrid bags. And 
that one goes there, yep, the 106, and then number 26 again. So, right, uh, thank you to all the people on the last video that when I said I hope he's still with me, <laughs> actually to put in the comments, yes, we're still with you, don't worry, we're still here, it's much appreciated. I know sometimes it's not the most scintillating thing to watch, but uh, having said that, I do watch other people doing this as well. <laughs> Fascinates me. I love doing it. ASMR, is it they call it? Right, so then we're on to the new Peter Rabbit one. Again, I don't need to keep the packaging, so this key code's a bit smaller. I obviously decided that they didn't want to, to save people's eyes and make the key codes a bit smaller. <laughs> Okay, right. And I need to keep this one out because I do need those extra drills just to go on that little pizza bunny's ears there, look. Just got those few crystals missing. Very annoying. But anyway, it's the first time it's happened, so there's first time for everything. Right, and is it just the two? Yeah, number four. Ooh, and marquee number 59. So we'll see whether we've got that one. Okay. So we want number four, which we know we've got number four. How many times have we used number four in this kitten now? Lots was the cry. Okay. Right. So that's that one. That's number two, number three, number four. And then we need to be looking anything that's a marquee, which is like your little shape like that, your like leaf shape. Um, starts with an M, so we want to, to look for the M's. M M M. And we want number fifty-nine. So have we got number fifty-nine? Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Oh, we don't have a number fifty-nine. So that's another new one. So we've got M fifty. It is definitely 59, yep, yeah, I can see that very clearly. So we want M59. Now then, let me see. So we want green. That's blue, so this is green. And we want the marquees. So let's have a look in the marquees. That's blue. I want green, what am I doing? Green, right, teardrops. So te ah, marquees are before teardrops. That's why I'm going wrong and see whether we've got any of these in this side. So, no, that's a darker colour. Ooh, could it be that one? No, it's not that one. Let's just double check. No, that's a very different colour. That's too big. That's the same size, but that's got an AB coating. So, it is a wholly new one. Okay, we'll put those back in there. And grab another bag. And this is another one of the nice crystal bags. Nice quality, these bags as well, with the uh, crystal art written on them. I do like them. Maybe if I go on enough collecting them, I'll end up with a whole alphabet. Look, we've got MN now as well. <laughs> okay, so that one's uh, M number 59, M37, 57, 59. All right, and that's that one done. So it's going to take me twice as long to actually just put the crystals away, but never mind. Right, and then finally, we need a poop. Oh, he's got a big key code look, and he's got number 4, 11, 25, and 26. So I think we've got all of those. Just, uh, my cutting out is atrocious. There isn't one straight line on this, but it doesn't matter. I will straighten it all up as it goes into my little card log book. Which, uh, yeah, I'm keeping track of everything. I'm getting a bit... Yeah, spending more time actually doing like admin for <laughs> card making. Uh, for diamond painting, goodness me. I am diamond painting. Um, I'll keep that out because I want to put the numbers on. Okay. So we have number four, which is the red one. So 
so let me put these in order p um r s t so number four pop those down a bit there number four number four come on it's right at the front as you know it is it's always been there and it's getting a very full bag i think once these bags are full and um, they will just go into my spares and go into my donation box and they will be heading to somebody that can make a bit of use of them so number four we want number 11 okay it's like the darker pinky red And then number 25 and 26 again. Very popular colours. That's a horrible bag, so that one can go. So 25 and 26. I think these have been in and out of here like a yo-yo. Might as well have just left them out on the desk. <laughs> I wonder what I did with my Highland Cologne's. Unless I've already kitted them down. Don't remember doing it. Maybe I do it in my sleep. I do so many gems and things. Maybe I do it in my sleep these days. You never know. Anything is possible in this household. Some of the things that go on are an absolute complete mystery to me. Including things that move about in this craft room. Even while I'm sat here and I think, well, I didn't touch it. Why did it move? <laughs> done so. right um that's okay so that's all of those crystals and gems put away got a bit more organized a bit more done keep those little bags separately i'm starting to get a nice collection of an alphabet now on those don't know what i'll do with them when i've got the full alphabet but it's definitely heading in that direction i'll put those bags in my other little bags when I'm doing some more cards don't know what I've done with Highland Co's um, drills so, unless I've already put them away but I usually do keep them out but anyway so well I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this uh, kitting down as it were putting these gems away if you have a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and if you press that subscribe button, whoops, down here, miss the corner and the old notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So thank you ever so much for stopping by and thanks for staying to the end of the video if you have. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.